water gem and an electric gem okay let's talk to this version first I'm pretty sure you're the sleepy chi the humans are looking for but don't worry I don't care about whatever motivates humans. Need any items? <sighs> These are just a bunch of DMs. Um, I would actually wouldn't mind having some. We should sell a bunch of these waters because I feel like we only ever need one because we only have one water type in our team. Yes. And the same with this. Yes. And then. That's good for now. Yeah, we want to keep our fossils. No, that's all. Thank you. Okay, let's get the rock that's down there real quick. Uh, there's two solid. What did I tell you guys about having more than one of yourself in a timeline at once? It's a disaster waiting to happen. Anyways, let's talk to the new Celebi. I've been saving up a lot of power for this moment. Please give me an item use my time warp on you. Oh. I remember I had two of the helix fossils. So maybe if I give her this I'll still have the other one. I'm pretty sure I had two of these. Oh. I'm so confused. This time warp gave me another Pokemon. Phew. I don't have enough power to help much anymore. Good luck to you. What? I'm confused. <gasps> you guys wouldn't mind if I restarted this and I just showed you every single one, right? I'm pretty sure you guys know what the fossils are. 
But I'm interested in what would happen. I'm interested in what would happen if I gave her a rock. So. I could go back in time. Well, not really go back in time. Just go back to my previous save. And then talk directly to Celebi. Yeah, let's do that. Just, um... Hold on, everyone. I guess I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, we're just gonna skip looking for the rocks right now. And talk straight to Celebi. you're not interested in seeing the different fossils and if you just want to continue on with this story so yeah this part's just gonna be for the people like me who are just curious like for the rock and sandstone because like these aren't fossils and I kind of regret like I don't I feel like I don't have all of them I'm pretty sure I missed a couple stones or grass spots here and there, so I feel like I don't have all the possible Pokemons here, but yeah, let's start from the top, since we did Helix Fossil, so we'll go from the top this time. Here we have the Dome Fossil, Dome Fossil, Dome Fossil. Now I'm wondering if there'll be different, like, moments like these where I can have other Pokemon do, so. I thought the Dome Fossil's Kabuto. I actually thought Kabuto would be the Claw Fossil. Or Kabutops. Kabutops might be the Claw Fossil. Or it might be the, the Dinosaur Pokemon. But yeah, so Kabuto, Dome Fossil, moving on. Okay, I have to exit and, like, reload the, my saved file, so I'm sorry if I keep cutting back and forth. Once again, the timestamp will be in the description. Okay, so this is our second time around. We're just gonna jump into it. And only skipped the first one and went straight to Dome Fossil. So we're gonna try Claw Fossil now. So here goes Claw Fossil. And let's see. Anorith. Okay, now I remember who Anorith is. Rockbug. This one's kind of an oldie. Moving on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the third Pokemon, or third fossil, and or stone slash rock, whichever one is next. Okay, so the next one is a sunstone. Really curious as to what this will be because it's not a fossil. lot of rock types here. So I may not choose Soul Rock. I love Soul Rock though. Soul Rock and Lunatone were my my favorite. Like uh, together with O 
those psychic twins. Oh my gosh. So beautiful together. They were actually a part of my top 20 favorite Pokemons um, that I drew for uh, the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. So, I'll probably put up a picture of that somewhere here. from the sunstone. Really cool and interesting. Okay, now we're on to our fourth Pokemon. I'm actually sad. I, won't, I might not choose Solrock because of his type. He's rock and psychic, and I have both those types in my team already. So, I don't want my team Um, heat rock, and I'm guessing by its name, it's gonna be some type of fire Pokemon. Probs, probably, yes. So, uh, let's see. It's McCargo. I might actually go with Medcargo just because he's a fire type and I have no fire type currently in my team. So, yes, may choose Medcargo. Oh, I feel like, I don't know. Since this is my first playthrough, I feel like some of you guys might think I'm a little bit cheating by doing this method, because now I won't be getting a random Pokemon, but, um, let's be honest, I know some of these fossils from previous games, so I would have chosen one of the ones I already knew, like maybe Kabuto or Ammonite, which I did get Ammonite. just playing it smart now that I have the advantage. Curiosity got the best of me. But I'm just rambling now. Let's move on. Okay, numero five. Or our fifth attempt. So, let's see what's next in our list. Uh, damp rock. So based on the current pattern, this is probably some type of water Pokemon, so may not choose this because I already have Buizel, which I had no control over. The game just gave me Buizel. No random luck there, even though Buizel's cute. I do not. Moving on. <gasps> oh my god, I actually want Swampert, though. Water ground type. Oh my god, it's already in its third evolution. I would love to have Swampert on my team, but that would give me two water types already. Okay, so Swampert and Makarko are definitely two of my choices now. Eh. Hopefully there isn't a third. Hopefully there is. Hopefully there's just another cooler Pokemon that just ruins all my decisions later on. <sighs> this is hard. I never noticed how ugly <laughs> Mew looks. <laughs> he looks very ugly. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Now we are finally on our sixth attempt. Let me just check real quick how many more we have to do. So, uh, oh, not that much. Only two 
little more. I, I really feel like I've missed some, so this list feels kind of small to me. I don't know. Maybe this is all of them. So, uh, Smooth Rock, right? I'm not really sure. Smooth is a type in Pokemon, so I don't know what this could be. It's not like damp heat. Or Icy Rock, where you can tell what type of Pokemon it's going to be. So this one will actually be a surprise. <gasps> oh no! I'm choosing Flygon, for sure. Not only is he a Dragon type and a Ground, two types I don't have in my current team, but he's in that top 20 list I was talking to you about earlier when I, we were looking at Soul Rock. So, Flygon's actually above Soul Rock and Lunatone in that list. I don't know. When I got my first Flygon, after my Trapinch, and then my Vibrava evolved, I fell in love with Flygon. He's just such a cute not, not just cute, like he's a g good mix of cool and cute in terms of Pokemon design, like, I don't know how to describe it. He just looks so cute and cool to me all at the same time, and he's a dragon type, so, yeah. I guess Flygon it is, unless this icy rock gets even better. <laughs> so far the rocks have beaten the fossils in terms of Pokemon I would actually really like on my team. So I'm actually really, really happy I'm doing this. Even if some of you guys might think I'm cheating. I'm sorry, this is how I play. How I'm currently playing Mew Yu. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Because <sighs> if I never did this, I would have been stuck with Omanite, which was a rock and a water type, which I already have both of. So, like on it is, guys. I'm excited to have him soon after the last, after the last rock. Okay, moving on. Okay, guys, home run stretch, or whatever they call it in sports. I don't play, but this is the last one, which I recall was Icy Rock. And we can finally move on with the story. So, here it is. Under which ice Pokemon it will be. Hopefully it's not anything as well. Okay. I mean, I would- Oh, My personality is cute. Somewhat of a clown. I would love to have him on my team, but yeah. I would rather have Flygon, so the winner of this beauty pageant of being revived from the dead is Flygon. Uh, so is uh, Kyogono, I think that's how you say your name, right? Kyogono was the last one we did from the Icy Rock. So, I'm just gonna head back and we'll continue on with the story and get my Flygon, teammate, friend, partner, whatever. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, and we're back. And, um, I collected the gems from the rocks already, and I bought the berries and sold the surplus gems I had, like I did before we started doing the showcasing of the fossils, rocks, and stuff. So, the only thing that I'm showing again is my getting a new partner, I guess giving, um, Celebi 
giving us a new teammate. So, I kind of wanted to show you guys this since choosing a different Pokemon. And we're trying to get the Flygon, which I remember correctly was the Smooth Rock, because we were so shocked. And let's check in case it is, and it's a female Flygon. I actually don't remember what it, if it was female before, or if it's just female now. Let's see. And the attacks are the same, so that's fine. All right. We are going to save real quick, because this is monumentous. Just in case something happens, and something usually happens to me. So, let's move on with the story, guys. I know, I'm so slow-paced. I feel like I should actually start training my Pokemon a bit. Since I did heal in the course a lot, if I do die, it won't be that far. So, because I have a feeling there's gonna be a big boss battle at the end, and I'm gonna be really underpowered. So. We're not gonna try as hard to stay away from trainers. We're just gonna battle them. Cause our main character, Mew, is definitely underpowered. I actually wanna try metronome real quick. Captivate failed. Wall swipe, really? You heal bell, really? Final Gambit. That was unexpected. Yes, definitely. Our next underpowered Pokemon is Buizel. I'm a bit upset because the person we mainly need to level up is now fainted and will not get any of the EXP. So... Oh, shoot. Captivate worked because we have a gender. It didn't work earlier because Mew had no gender. But we're diving real quick to avoid extra damage. What does Eel Bell do? Does it heal the Melt Tank later on? So far, it's not really doing anything. Okay, Swift. Pretty sure the dive could have killed him earlier if my Buizel's special attack hadn't fallen so low, but at least he leveled up. Oh, what's Buizel trying to learn? Oh, agility. No, thank you. Yes. I have no use for agility. Oh, this is quick. What level did I have? I Didn't I just get Buizel at level 40? He's already evolved. To float so. Oh. A fun fact about me I never liked float cells design. I mean, Buizel looked aloof, cute, like a very cool Pokemon. Float cell looks like a fake mon. Like something out of a Romac or something. But yeah. It's, it's not a as creative as an evolution design as most evolution lines are. It literally still looks like Buizel, but less cooler. Yes, definitely. Actually, let's check what Razor Wind is about. Do the planes when it is a critical hit slime or Okay. I will definitely choose Razor Wind over Natural Gifts, because so far, I haven't been able to find a cat vendor that's been selling other berries besides orange berry and citrus berry, and they haven't been doing me any good. Plus, I always forget to give them a new berry, so I'm taking out natural gift. 
and replacing it with a much more reliable attack. Razor wind. Yay. Okay, so I'm not fighting you again. And before I fight this girl, I need to heal my Mew so she can get some of that delicious EXP and level up along with Buizel. Because Buizel just evolved. This has been an eventful episode, but so far, everything in Mew Yu has been eventful. So I have a feeling that this game's gonna be pretty, pretty quick or short, because there's a lot going on in such a short amount of time. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now that I want to battle a trainer, they ignore me. <laughs> See? She won't look at me. I should just stay in one spot. Wait for her to face me. There we go. Another cute Pokemon to add to my collection. <gasps> A Rhydon. I'm scared. Let's see what Metronome has to do, then we'll switch real quick. Oh, nice. Um, well. Definitely gotta switch now. My defense is full. No. Okay. Good thing she's a psychic type and that wasn't super effective. But let's, um I forgot the attack that Archon has. I never grunge Rosalie Dieter. And what does Flygon have? Because Fultzel has... Oh shoot, I accidentally put in Flygon. But at least... Levitate made his attack miss. Ah. Let's try Dragon's Breath real quick. There. The paralysis worked. Oh, but he used takedown. I'm not sure how much damage that will do. Isn't takedown supposed to have some recoil? Or does Rhydon have like a passive that makes his, uh, the recoil on it not work as much? Okay, why is his paralyze, paralyzation not working? We're gonna have to switch with floats all around. As we want Flygon to get some of that XP too. Uh, the paralyzation's not working. Oh, so I did. Oh, so she did have a Citrus Berry. Okay, let's dive real quick. Now he's paralyzed, but we're already. It's okay. It was super effective. Our Mew didn't. Our Mew didn't. Level up at all. How disappointing. Okay, we're gonna go back to Corsola real quick. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I gotta stop clicking so fast. I thought I was triggering the healing again the healing animation I'm not sure what to call it but I don't can I dive here? is that what I'm supposed to do? am I supposed to dive? I think I'm supposed to dive, yes okay is there a Pokemon here? <gasps> there's a float cell over there Hmm, funnily enough, I have a float cell now. 
I don't have an electric type Pokemon and or grass type. But it might have been useful to have a Lilip. Isn't Lilip grass? I don't remember what Lilip was. But um, I don't want to fight that guy just in case I have to end up fighting this float soul. I'd rather fight the float soul. Oh. Okay, so Float Soul's my teammate. He's just... Okay. Honestly, humans really scare me. I'm glad they're up there and I'm down here. So, take all the time you need. So, this Float Soul is actually my Float Soul and that's the reason how we're underwater. So, I will definitely trigger, trigger this battle. And oh no, now I regret it. It's a double battle. Why are these double battles underground? It makes no sense to me. I just realized I have no Pokemon and I can't run because I can't run in this game. Uh, let's see, they're not that high up the level, so I'm switching. The thing with Archon and Flygon is they're both weak to water type. And I'm afraid, because Tentacruel and Crawdent are both water types. Flygon's ground, and Archon is rock. I'm trying to remember what Crawdon's other type is. I might have to go with Flygon again. Just because this Dragon Breath has paralyzation. Okay, good. But not good because my defense is already pretty. Oh, nice. A status effect. What I wanted. Night Slash? Not Water type. But, good enough. So, we're gonna do another metronome. And we're gonna do... What is... Dragon Breath. Actually, let's focus on the Crawdunt. You, please. Don't get poisoned, Mew. Mew. Good. I might... Oh, did they dr did they run? I'm a little confused. What just happened? Well, I'm going back real quick. Oh, <gasps> I can't. Oh no. Half my team is dead. But they ran away. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to go back to my old tactics of running away and making sure- Oh! I heard a healing- Oh! I got healed! Somehow, someway. Let's give a book. How? How? How was- how? Oh, the guy. I ran into the guy. He saw me. I didn't know he could see me from that far. I love Explode. This is what I'm talking about. How the float cell evolution is kind of makes me mad and seems lazy. Because a cute, adorable Wismer goes from a Wismer to oh, an Explode. Like, I know there's a Loudred in between, but. The final evolution is an explode. Meanwhile, Buizel's final evolution is a float soul. And not to say Laudred is a lazy evolution. Laudred, in my opinion, is still a better Pokemon design than Float Soul. Because look how freaking cool Explode is. Like, the design is awesome. You may not like it, but you gotta give the design of Explode props. So yeah, end of rant. I guess. 
and I am going to send out Archon. Actually, no, because his health is so low for level 45. Actually, why not? I have four Pokemon for a reason. I forget how cute Archon is in battle. Why is his crunch so strong? <laughs> and now his... Let's rock slide it, and my the explod is faster than my Archon, and my Archon Jin didn't even have a fighting chance. Okay, Flygon. Hopefully, I'll do better. And let's drag and press it. Hopefully, he'll get paralyzed, and he didn't. And we got. Wow, I've been just really lucky with these Pokemon battles lately. Like, no one seems to want to battle at all. So. Oh, shoot. <sighs> okay, looks like we're diving again. Yes. Okay. Pay attention to moving grass. I thought it was only moving grass that- oh no. Was there another- like a second moving grass? Hopefully they get scared off again. Let's psychic the Whalmer. Why is the Whalmer so strong? We're both psychics, are you? It doesn't matter if you change to my type, we're both psychic. I'm scared my Mew will faint, so we're switching again. Oh, Archon's fainted. I actually thought Archon would be pretty good with these two. Okay, now Staryu is either dragon or ground, or both. I forget how reflect works. But I have a fighting chance now, and we are going to dragon tail the Whalmer away. Well, razor winding, so. Oh no, Brian. Okay, good. I thought it was a fly gone. I still don't get why bounce looks like. Really, Flygon, you had a perfect 100% until now. Why the sudden low accuracy? Wow. At least now they're both. Oof. Okay, good. The dragon type is still, he still have dragon, so. Thoughts will know, you weren't supposed to get paralyzed. He was supposed to get paralyzed. And he didn't even get paralyzed. Okay, let's drag in Breath of Star you. And let's, uh, Aqua. No. Let's keep Razor Winding. What? Star you is weak to Dragon type? Oh no. Who is he gonna hit with Dive? I'm gonna dive too then, because Floatzel is perilous half health. Oh shoot. I just realized that, um, Dragon Tail and Dragon Breath have similar sim um, animations when Dragon Tail is supposed to be a tail. So, I don't know. What to say? Oh, so there was two. Okay, probably. Because that one is still going. I thought that's what hit me, so. There was another one. Yes. Let's go to the surface, Fotzel. 
Thank you for healing me, Flopsa. I'm going to hide here for a second, and I'm thinking that I will be ending the episode here, because I don't want to get this episode get this episode too long. Make this episode too long. What is English? Yeah, this episode was pretty lengthy and eventful, so I hope.